The market continues to climb in its rally off the lows. I hope you weren't shorting today. This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so the market pushed higher toward that 1.236 extension, coming up just a couple bucks short at 45.14 before basically trading sideways the rest of the day. It has not pulled back and tested the pivot, so that means it can still push higher and extend this wave three of three rally. Now, I'll get into all that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our by alerts. All right, guys, before I jump into the chart, my job here, my goal here, I should say, is to make you guys understand the market better and to be better traders. So there is one Elliott Wave trading rule that I need to put out there that I put out there every time in my trading room and every time somebody comes back and says they're breaking this rule and every time they lose money. You do not short wave three of threes. Not when you think they're going to top, not when they hit a fib, not ever. You don't short them. Okay. The reason is they can extend 50 points, 100 points, 150 points past where you think they're going to go. When you think that they're overbought, they can extend. When you think they can't extend any further, they can extend. When they hit the fib you think they're supposed to hit, they can extend. Stop blowing up your bank accounts trying to short the tippy top of this rally. Let it run its course. Let it break support. And then you can short the market. Okay. That is my soapbox. Let's jump into the charts and take a look. Okay, guys. So here we are on the one hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And not a whole lot is going to change in the way of analysis from yesterday. The bulls extended again. They got really close to the 1236 fib. In fact, they're pressing it again now. They're a couple bucks short of it. But uh, 4516 here, they pushed up to that. And they can still extend this thing, guys. This is why I say don't short. Don't short down here at the 1.0 fib because they can extend it another, what is that, 70 points. And then the next fib up is 4562, and they can extend to that. That's another 150 points. So if you're trying to short this thing, you're just going to get killed, Okay. If you want to short, if you're sitting there and you're dying to short, my overall suggestion to you is wait for the pivot to break, okay? If they pull back, if they pull back and break the pivot, then it's a very strong indication we're going to come down here to these lows and probably the 4,000 area. And the bottom of the pivot is 4,339. So you have 339 points of downside after you get confirmation that the upside rally has probably failed, okay? So... Yeah, it's awesome when you hit the exact top, but you very rarely do because it's very hard to do, and you most often get wrecked when you do that. So my advice is wait till the pivot breaks if you really want to short because they can continue to push this higher. So overall, guys, we're looking for the same thing as yesterday, a continued push higher or a top and a pullback into the pivot to test the pivot. Now, because they pushed up to the 1236 area, we really expect the top of the pivot to hold the 4369 area. In fact, support, okay, the 382 retrace comes in at 4411. So that's kind of the area we would expect to hold. If that breaks, it's not the end of the world, but it is kind of an early warning that things may not be holding the way we want. Okay, they can still pull back and test the pivot. And again, as long as they are above the top of wave one here, then they can still push this higher in wave five of three. So again, we are in wave three of three. So this little Roman numeral three, and it's right at the top of the screen. Here, I'll pull it down just a little bit here. This circle three up here. Okay, so it's this Roman numeral three. So when I say wave three, that's the Roman numeral three of wave three. That's the big three up here. And these are the strongest, longest waves, guys. Look at how just basically straight up this wave is. So these are the types of waves you want to be long on. This is the type of spot you want to get your long down here on this pullback and uh, chase the rally up. So that's what we're doing. We're letting our longs ride right now, pushing higher, and then we'll see what happens when we come back to test the pivot. All right, so quick summary. They can push it higher. The next fib up, the next fib target would be 45.62 at the 1382 uh, extension. But at any point from where they are now, up till they top, then they can push past the 1382. Remember, guys, these things can extend very far. At any point when they top, we're looking for a pullback to hold support. And if the pullback holds support, which ultimately is the pivot and the top of wave one here, that's our ultimate support level. Assuming it holds that and pushes higher and takes out this high, then it's a very strong sign for the bulls because we would have a five wave structure up for wave three. Okay, so we could complete wave three, and then it becomes pretty likely that we get our wave four and five 
to complete wave one of bigger wave five. So again, this one, two, three setup, guys, is one, two, three of wave one, and then four of wave one, and then five's off the screen. But we're setting up wave one right now, which should, if it follows through on the path, should take us up near the all-time highs around the 4770 region. So a lot of upside potential, and there is some downside potential, but it has to break the pivot for me to even consider the downside potential. All right, guys, over on the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ's a little more interesting because there is some ability to interpret it differently. Um, it has pushed up over the 1236, and if it continues to push up through the 1382 and all the way to the 1618 up here at 14952, that could be considered all of wave three at that point. And this pullback spike down here that kind of tested the pivot, okay, it was a little short of what we would really want to see. We wanted to see a little bit lower there, but at that point, we could consider that pullback spike wave four of three, and then the 1618 here, wave five of three to complete big this wave three up here. Then we would look for a wave four pullback, okay, and then wave five up from there. So if the NASDAQ continues to push like it is and gets up to this 1618 level, I could consider that all of wave three, and then we would look for four and five to complete wave one of that bigger wave five, okay? So again, on the NASDAQ, we're ultimately looking for a retest of the pivot down here, which is 14,168 down to 14,034, but because we have pushed up over the 1,236, I think the high end of the pivot needs to hold. So 14,168 or higher needs to hold the pullback, and then we would look for the wave five up from there, okay? So that's what we're looking at on the NASDAQ. Guys, if you love the information that I put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me, you need to check out investwithjacob.com. There's a link down in the description. Go ahead and click that link, and it will take you right over to the website. Once you get there, check out our membership plans. They both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you guys to try it out. I want you to love it, and I want it to be something you want to have before you ever pay for it. Okay, we have two amazing rooms in there. The first one is my room. It's the Invest with Jacob room. And there you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, as well as all of your Elliott Wave questions answered. I do only trade the SPY and the QQQ. So if you're looking for individual stocks to trade, as well as a trading style, guys, that destroys the market, the the trades that PT has every day and the, the, the green symbols and numbers that he's putting up, are absolutely crazy. He is making money hand over fist in that room. You can check out what people are saying down here about it. Really awesome room. You get everything in the Invest with Jacob room, as well as the individual stock trading, the reduced risk trading style with binary options, and you get the mind of a man who just knows how to beat the market. So they both come with that seven-day free trial. Come test them out and make sure you love them. Guys, we'd love to have you in there so we can make some money together. All right, key takeaways for today, guys. We can still extend. Don't short wave threes. I'll say it again. We can still extend up, okay? And they can push up to the next fib, which is the 4562. And when they get there, guess what? They can still push higher. However, when they do find a top and they start to pull back, we need to see our support region hold, okay? And if our support holds, which is ultimately the pivot, that's our ultimate support, okay? And then we push higher out over the top, wherever that happens to be. It's a very strong sign for the bulls as we have five up in wave three at that point. And we would be looking to complete wave four and then wave five higher to complete that bigger wave one of wave five. All right, guys, over on the NASDAQ, a couple different interpretations there. They can continue to push higher as well, obviously. If they push all the way up towards that 14,952 area, okay, that's the 1618 FIB, which is a very common wave three target, uh, all of wave three. We could interpret this spike down here towards the pivot as wave four and then that move up so as wave three. So we'll see how it plays out on the NASDAQ. A little bit of an um, interpretation issue there just on how that spike down below the 236 uh, on the pullback from the, the high over here is going to play out. But ultimately, they need to hold this pivot if they pull back and then make a higher high to give us five up in wave three. All right, guys, so don't short wave three of threes. I'll say it again. That is the market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.